Ahmadi's family has been fighting for his release for nearly four years. When the Iran nuclear deal was announced, they saw it as a sign of hope, and now they're waiting for the country's next move. It's a nightmare. Every day we wake up every morning and we ask ourselves, is this a bad dream? This has been the reality for Sarah Hikmati and her family for nearly four years. In 2011, her younger brother Amir, an Iranian American, was visiting relatives in Tehran. He has never returned. We have not gotten used to the fact that this is happening to us. Initially charged with espionage, the 32-year-old former Marine and defense contractor was first sentenced to death, but is now serving a 10-year prison sentence. He's done no crime in Iran. His only crime was to visit his grandmother and to have a history of being in the Marines. Hikmati, who was from Flint, Michigan, is one of three Americans being held by Iran. The Obama administration has been criticized for not guaranteeing their release as part of the nuclear deal with Iran, but Hikmati is said to support the decision. Amir himself denied any interest in a trade. He didn't want to set a precedent for other Americans who are of Iranian heritage to be taken and used like he was. Do you think that because you have all of these sides now coming together, Iran working with the U.S. essentially, that it may help in the long run? We're cautiously optimistic. We obviously can appreciate diplomacy moving forward and how that's going to open the doors for more communication and more engagement. I, I've come to feel like, even though I've never met him, I've come to feel like I know Amir. In June, Michigan Congressman Dan Kildee introduced a resolution that was overwhelmingly approved, calling on Iran to immediately release Hekmati, Washington Post reporter Jason Rosean, and Pastor Saeed Abedini. But I hope that they would understand that the world is watching them, and the world will judge them in terms of their legitimacy. Um, based on not just what they agreed to at the negotiating table, but all of their other behaviors. And I hope that they realize that it would be an important gesture, an important step forward into the global community by releasing these prisoners. But they feel that time isn't on their side. Hekmati's family says he's endured two hunger strikes and has suffered abuse behind bars. Anything that we could think of that would bring us one step closer to bringing him home. We feel like we've tried and, and it still feels like it's never enough because he's not home. To make matters worse, his father Ali has terminal brain cancer. For us, every day is a tragedy, every day. So, you know, for us, we can't wait any longer. Wait but they refuse to give up. In June, they attended a nuclear summit in Vienna with Montel Williams calling for Amir's release. They've also raised awareness about his plight through social media. As Congress begins to debate and dissect the Iran nuclear deal, Amir's family hopes that somehow it leads to his release. Sarah Hekmati's family says that her family is in touch with Amir on almost a daily basis. In the meantime, Michigan Congressman Dan Kildee issued a statement today saying that Congress will be watching Iran's behavior over the next several weeks. John.